Hey everybody, in today's video we're going to take a look at some of the common toolpath features and options you'll use with Bobcat's standard mill turn package. Uh, to begin with, let's take a look at our cam tree here. You can see we have a mill turn job. This is a BC1T1S, so that's a single turret, single spindle. This particular machine does not have a Y axis. Now, when you're laying out your turning profiles, you just need uh, half of the part and you do require wireframe geometry in order to generate your turning cycles. Uh, we have an automated facing routine uh, that makes facing off your part very quickly. And then we have standard and non-standard uh, turning cycles which go past conventional can cycles. Now Bobcat's turning routines do have constraints. Uh, the toolpath can be constrained to the stock it could be from the geometry or a custom value, uh, giving you the ability to control where the toolpath is cutting. Now you also have extensions, so you can extend or trim your profiles very easily right from the toolpath interface. Now in addition to standard turning cycles, you can also uh, utilize face milling routines. So you could be drilling holes or cutting pockets on the face of your part. Uh, this can utilize C or Y or Polar, depending on what machine uh, configurations and capabilities you have. Uh, in addition to standard face mill uh, drilling, pocketing, and profiling, uh, you can also utilize uh, advanced pocketing routines with open pockets to go in there and machine uh, simple and complex face contours, similar to how you might machine on your mill. Uh, the last topic I wanted to cover here today is wrapping groups. Uh, using wrapping groups, you can lay uh, out geometry flat, similar to this um, cam profile that I have here. And then utilizing a wrapping group, you can wrap that toolpath to a desired diameter, allowing you to machine uh, irregular profiles along uh, the OD of your part to drill holes or cut pockets. Uh, let's take a look at the simulation here. Uh, as a mill turn user, you'll have advanced machine simulation with uh, checking groups to be able to check against uh, the tool, the holder, the fixture, or any of the other machine components. Uh, this way you get a nice representation of what's going to happen out at the machine before you get out there. Okay. So as we see this loads up, we can see our turret configuration, we can see our spindle, we can see our chuck jaws uh, all in one uh, streamlined environment with many tools to be able to check your process. You can step through your routine uh, single block one at a time or you can speed up or slow down uh, your simulation as necessary. So let's just slow this down a little bit and plus press play and then we can take a look at our routine and exactly what's going on. So we face off the part. Uh, once we get done facing off the part, we're uh, roughing our OD profile. Once we have our OD profile rough, we're going to run a, a finish pass on that OD profile. Again, you can post with separate moves or can cycles. Oh, let's kind of get back in here a little bit. This is the face drilling. So it's just coming through and drilling the holes. Uh, the next routine is the face pocket. Uh, this is using an adaptive routine. And again, depending on your machine, you could post this with uh, just C. You could post it with uh, Y or it could be posted with uh, polar coordinates. OK. All right, let's go ahead and uh, pause that and skip through to the next operation. Uh, once we get done with our face pocket here, again, we're using a wrapping group to machine along the OD of the part. Uh, it is important to understand wrapping groups. The, the tool will be pointed to the axis of rotation. So again, uh, if your machine doesn't have a Y axis and you need to machine features into your part, uh, this is a, a decent way for you to uh, accomplish that. Uh, not just irregular profiles along the OD, but uh, drilling holes and cutting pockets. Now there's lots of little uh, tips and tricks in here to be able to use toolpath patterns to be able to copy uh, features either on the face of your part or on the OD of your part. Again, speeding up your mill turn programming all within the Bobcad system. 
uh, making it very easy for you to visualize your process and be able to reuse your process on other routines. Your final step would be to post out your code and you'll get a complete program here that you can send to your machine via RS-232 uh, or you could download via USB drive. Thank <laughs> you.